Christopher Guest is saying goodbye after his wife's tragic diagnosis. Jamie Lee Curtis was born on November 22, 1958, in Los Angeles, California, and was destined for stardom from the very beginning. Her arrival into the world marked the continuation of a Hollywood legacy, being the offspring of two legendary actors, Tony Curtis and Janet Lee. With such illustrious parentage, Curtis was immersed in the glitz and glamour of showbiz from her earliest days. Alongside her sister, Kelly Curtis, she navigated the unique challenges and opportunities that came with growing up in a family where fame and artistic expression were the norm rather than the exception. From her earliest memories, Curtis was surrounded by the magic of film sets, the buzz of premieres, and the captivating allure of the silver screen. Her parents' careers undoubtedly shaped her understanding of the entertainment industry, providing her with invaluable insights into the craft of acting and the realities of celebrity life. Yet, amidst the dazzling lights of Tinseltown, Curtis was instilled with a sense of groundedness and humility, attributes that would later define her both on and off screen. Jamie Lee Curtis' journey through education reflects her pursuit of excellence and her commitment to personal growth. Her academic path commenced at the prestigious Westlake School for Girls, where she likely encountered peers from diverse backgrounds, laying the foundation for her future interpersonal skills and adaptability. Here, within the supportive environment of an all-girls institution, Curtis likely flourished, honing her intellect and nurturing her early passions. Transitioning to Beverly Hills High School, Curtis found herself in the heart of a cultural melting pot, surrounded by peers from various walks of life. This diverse setting likely broadened her perspectives, fostering an appreciation for different cultures and viewpoints, a valuable asset for any aspiring artist. It was during these formative years that Curtis' interest in acting and theater began to take root, perhaps sparked by the vibrant art scene of Beverly Hills or inspired by the performances of her parents and their peers. Curtis' educational journey took an eastward turn as she pursued her studies at Choate Rosemary Hall in Connecticut. Here, amidst the picturesque backdrop of New England, she continued to nurture her academic and artistic passions. Choate's rigorous curriculum and emphasis on intellectual curiosity likely challenged Curtis to push her boundaries and explore new horizons. Additionally, the school's rich tradition of theatrical productions provided her with ample opportunities to hone her craft and refine her acting skills. Following her high school graduation, Curtis embarked on her collegiate journey at the University of the Pacific in Stockton, California. This pivotal period marked a crucial juncture in her life as she delved deeper into her studies and explored the vast realm of possibilities that lay before her. While the specifics of her academic pursuits remain elusive, it's safe to assume that Curtis' time at the University of the Pacific further fueled her passion for acting and instilled in her the discipline and perseverance necessary for success in the competitive world of showbiz. One of the most notable aspects of Curtis' career is her willingness to venture beyond the confines of the horror genre and explore new creative horizons. From her breakout role in Halloween to her later work in comedies, dramas, and thrillers, Curtis has demonstrated an uncanny ability to inhabit a diverse array of characters with depth and authenticity. By embracing roles that challenged her preconceived notions of herself as an actress, she not only expanded her artistic repertoire but also endeared herself to audiences across the globe. In comedies, Curtis showcased her impeccable comedic timing and flair for physical comedy winning over audiences with her infectious charm and irresistible wit. Films like Trading Places, 1983, showcased her comedic prowess, as she held her opposite comedy legends such as Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd, delivering memorable performances that left audiences in stitches. In dramas, Curtis proved herself a master of emotional depth and subtlety, effortlessly conveying the complexities of the human experience with nuance and sensitivity. Her role in A Fish Called Wanda, 1988, exemplified her dramatic range, earning her critical acclaim and further solidifying her reputation as one of Hollywood's most versatile actresses. In thrillers, Curtis captivated audiences with her ability to ratchet up the tension and keep viewers on the edge of their seats. Her role in True Lies, 1994, opposite Arnold Schwarzenegger, showcased her action chops and cemented her status as a bona fide leading lady in the world of high-octane thrillers.
Jamie Lee Curtis' foray into television and theater has been marked by a string of acclaimed performances that have solidified her reputation as one of the most talented and versatile actresses of her generation. Her Emmy Award-winning role in the TV movie Nicholas Gift, 1998, stands as a testament to her exceptional talent and ability to inhabit complex characters with depth and nuance. In the film, Curtis portrays the real-life character of Maggie Green, a grieving mother who finds solace and redemption in the act of organ donation following the tragic death of her son. With her poignant portrayal, Curtis captivated audiences and critics alike, earning widespread praise and accolades for her heartfelt performance. Similarly, Curtis' Golden Globe-winning performance in the TV series Anything But Love, 1989-1992, showcased her comedic chops and magnetic screen presence solidifying her status as a beloved television star. In the series, Curtis stars opposite Richard Lewis as Hannah Miller, a witty and independent magazine editor navigating the ups and downs of romance and friendship in the fast-paced world of publishing. Curtis' effortless blend of humor, charm, and vulnerability endeared her to audiences, earning her critical acclaim and widespread recognition for her standout performance. In addition to her success on the small screen, Curtis has also made a significant impact on the Broadway stage, making her debut in The Heidi Chronicles, 2015. Directed by Pam McKinnon, the Pulitzer Prize-winning play by Wendy Wasserstein explores the evolving role of women in society through the eyes of its titular character, Heidi Holland. In the production, Curtis delivers a compelling and nuanced performance as Susan Johnston, a successful art historian grappling with the complexities of love, career, and identity. Her portrayal resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning her praise for her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her character. Jamie Lee Curtis' personal life is as rich and fulfilling as her professional career, marked by deep connections, meaningful relationships, and a profound commitment to making a difference in the lives of others. Her marriage to actor Christopher Guest in 1984 not only brought her enduring love and companionship but also marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life one defined by shared dreams, mutual respect, and unwavering support. Together, Curtis and Guest have forged a partnership built on love, trust, and shared values, weathering life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. In addition to their shared journey as a couple, Curtis and Guest have also embarked on the rewarding path of parenthood, welcoming two adopted children into their lives, Annie and Thomas. Their decision to adopt speaks volumes about their compassion, generosity, and unwavering commitment to creating a loving and nurturing family environment. Through their dedication to their children, Curtis and Guest have demonstrated the transformative power of love and the boundless capacity of the human heart to embrace and nurture those in need. Moreover, Curtis' advocacy for adoption and foster care has extended far beyond the confines of her own family as she has tirelessly championed the cause of vulnerable children and families in need. Through her philanthropic efforts and tireless advocacy work, she has raised awareness about the importance of adoption and foster care, shining a spotlight on the countless children awaiting loving homes and the urgent need for support and resources within the foster care system. At 65 years old, Jamie Lee Curtis finds herself in a poignant battle against throat cancer a stark reminder that health challenges can strike anyone, regardless of fame or fortune. Fast forward to early May, where subtle symptoms began to unravel a much graver reality. A persistent cough initially dismissed as a minor inconvenience, evolved into a cause for concern as it persisted, accompanied by mysterious headaches and discomfort in her throat. Ignoring these warning signs only exacerbated the situation leading Jamie Lee to confront a diagnosis that would change her life, nasopharyngeal cancer. The shockwaves reverberated through Jamie Lee's family and the wider community, prompting questions about the insidious nature of cancer and its indiscriminate reach. Even with her commitment to a healthy lifestyle, including abstaining from alcohol, Jamie Lee found herself thrust into a battle she never anticipated. Genetics played a cruel hand in Jamie Lee's health journey, with her father's battle with the same disease serving as an ominous precursor. Despite prior encounters with tumors and surgeries, nothing prepared her for the gravity of this latest diagnosis. As the world processes this sobering news, questions linger about the nature of health, 
the unpredictability of genetics, and the resilience of the human spirit. Jamie Lee's story serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. What are your thoughts on Jamie Lee Curtis' health journey? Share your reflections in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on her condition. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery and compassion.